These are the bushy, well-groomed, and colossal celebrity facial hair looks of the 20th century and beyond. We are students of the sounds that ducks make. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity beards. Fritz. Mm -hmm. We must get to work immediately. I, I can't even look at you. For this list, we're focusing specifically on traditional beards which means a facial hair legend such as Frank Zappa didn't make our list, given his fondness for the mustache soul patch combo. And poo -poo, ta -da -da. Number 10, Tom Hardy. Oh, and I wanna look like Scott of the Antarctic, I think. I'm not sure, <laughs> <laughs> I just grew it. Whether he's between roles or starring in a film like The Revenant or Mad Max Fury Road, this British movie star has been known to rock one hell of a beard. What's all this for then? It's, it's a bit of um, Mad Max and um, prep and, um, and Siberia prep. At times you could say it's just simply out of control, but considering the natural charm of Tom Hardy, he can pull it off just fine. It's got volume and even a little bit of gray. Just your classic mountain man beard. I'm loving the beard, but when everyone's looking at the beard, I'm loving the beard. It's ginger, isn't it? A little white street. <laughs> Number nine. Rick Ross. Ask yourself this, have I ever seen Rick Ross without a beard? The answer is always no. And whether or not you like the rhymes of the rapper slash entrepreneur or the persona he presents, you can't deny the prowess of his well-groomed facial hair. Rub my hands with my palms itch. 50 in the bank, diamonds looking flawless. You'll never see this guy out of control with hair sprouting all over the place. Nope, it's just a well-round bush of black hair that never seems to change. How do you keep the beard looking so good? Uh, <laughs> my bob is expensive. My bob is expensive. Number eight, Chris Evans. Uh, we love you, love you, buddy. Congrats on everything. Back in 2001, this future Captain America starred in Not Another Teen Movie, playing your typical clean-shaven jock. Here. <laughs> It. Oh, I did. It's all wet. Ah! And if you were jealous of Chris Evans back then, you should be even more jealous of heavily bearded Chris Evans. He sported a tremendous and slightly filthy beard and snow piercer, but when it comes to the man on the street bearded look, he's got all the right areas covered. Because nobody likes their superheroes with one of those reality TV style beards. Our man Chris knows what's up. It's more, yeah, they like it. They, they got some fans. I'll uh, take they, it. I'll take they it. They like, yeah. Number seven, Rob Zombie. Just take one quick glance at this heavy metal icon and tell us what you see. Yes, that's a beard wearing man of epic proportions. As a soldier of hard rock with an extensive career in the business, as well as a dabbler in the horror scene of cinema, people will not have trouble remembering Rob Zombie due to his rather distinguished homeless man look. Number six, Rick Rubin. You're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. You may be thinking to yourself, did Orson Welles transform into a celebrated hip hop producer and disguise himself with a massive gray beard? And to be honest, we don't exactly know for sure. I just wanted to make records that sounded like what it sounded like at the club, which was in some ways more about the DJ. As Rick Rubin seems to be a genius in his own right, which pretty much gives him a free pass to pull off the Santa gone wild look. Not caring for the rules and regulations for acceptable beards, the former Columbia Records co-president just seems to become even more confident with each passing year, due to his 50 shades of gray. Beautiful. Number five, George Lucas. I mean, space, we call it space opera, but it, people don't realize it's actually a soap opera. Yeah. And it's all about family problems and that kind, it's not about spaceships. It's hard to make any kind of argument about George Lucas since, well, he created Star Wars and we didn't. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. Back in the day, George Lucas seemed to be quite the cool customer with that salt and pepper combo and a beard that didn't appear as though it might be suffocating him. But when you get older and wiser, well, things just happen. As unique and breathtaking as his magnum opus was in the original trilogy, his facial hair has stood the test of time to become just as iconic. Do you know what you're directing next? Uh, I will be directing movies, but not movies generally that will be shown anywhere. Number four, James Harden. Is this your beer guru? 
Maybe. Nowadays, pro athletes need to have their thing. And when this former Arizona State star joined the NBA, he discovered that a strong beard game was equally as important as knocking down jumpers. Is it an, an intimidation factor, like people are afraid of it on the court? No, I don't think so. Yes, James Harden definitely stirs the pot with this outrageous patch of pointiness. You just can't really make it up, but it seems to make sense for James. It's Kardashian approved, which means it's universe approved. So everybody can just back off and appreciate the beard while we still have it. And the beard has taken flight. Number three, Zach Galifianakis. I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. Here's a guy that's become a pop culture phenomenon due to his oddball humor and substantial beard. I'm gonna go down. But here's the thing. Zach Galifianakis is perfectly capable of pulling off the clean shaven look. For his kind of shtick, however, the facial hair just adds to the hilarity of the characters he plays. You gonna say anything? Yeah, I just have never interviewed a seven-year-old before, so. Zach inspires every man with hopes of becoming a 21st century beard all-star. And we look forward to further beard innovations. Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Number two, Mr. T. I'm getting tired of this rap, Murdoch. In the 80s, he was a star of the popular TV series The A-Team. And today he's remembered as Mr. T, the star of the popular TV series The A-Team. Tomorrow, you're gonna learn to make ashtrays, okay? <laughs> okay. But by God, did he make that look timeless. Perhaps the inspiration for both Rick Ross and James Harden. This man wears his beard with a striking ferocity that will silence anyone. But now it's time to face my toughest opponent of all. It's just perfect across the board. And T obviously places special importance on the art of the mustache beard combo. That's no simple feat, but Mr. T is no simple dude. Mother, there is no other like mother, so treat her right. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I believe every day's a good day when you paint. Embarrassing. <laughs> Some extensions at the end. Extensions. See how it's sort of a bit wavy. Oh, yeah. Hi, my name is Andrew Selva, and this is my Maxim Hodges. So people lined up and started shaving his beard. Are they insane? Don't they know about Ben Affleck's beard power? Number one, Billy Gibbons. The great Jimi Hendrix once proclaimed this man to be the next hottest guitarist. But what he failed to realize is that Billy Gibbons would also become associated with beard immortality. I wanna tell you a story. Every man ought to know. With all due respect to the musical legacy of ZZ Top, the beards are part of the marketing package. And it was back in the 70s when Billy Gibbons and bandmate Dusty Hill began growing theirs and just never quit. But hey, that must be what makes the look so legendary. Do you agree with our list? Which celebrity do you think has the most amazing beard? James Harden. What am I going to do with you? For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You good with that? No, I'm not good with that.